Rocky IV opened in November 1985 and surpassed Rocky III to become the most successful of the franchise. The film, very unsubtly, is a social commentary on the US versus the Soviet Union, but at the time it was wonderful entertainment, and in many ways it still is. Yes, it's essentially a 90-minute music video, and while many critics claim the series had lost all credibility, Sylvester Stallone and his alter ego Rocky still pulls you in, still manages to involve the viewer in the incredible life of this larger-than-life character that made and still makes the audience feel good. It makes everyone feel they have a shot at whatever they want to do, and that's the essence of Rocky. Last summer, Sylvester Stallone surprisingly announced he was going back to the editing room to reimagine Rocky IV, and the release date was to be his 35th anniversary, November 27, 2020. Between current world events and him making his latest film, The Samaritan, there has been delays and we're still waiting for the cut to be released. So what's different? Will we finally get an explanation to Ghost Boy? Well, one of the first things Stallone did was remove the robot. Yes, Paulie's present is gone. Interestingly though, the robot was specially designed to help autistic children. Stallone wrote it into the film as it helped his own son's treatment. Other than the birthday scene, and where Rocky is talking to Rocky Jr, it only appeared in a couple of scenes anyway. The Creed Drago exhibition match has extra footage too, and it looks like it's going to make the outcome of that even more impactful. There's also additional footage of Drago, so as well as the if he dies he dies line, there's more. After Creed's death, there's an added scene of Balboa with the boxing commission. In the original, this was just passed over with a shot of a newspaper headline citing that the commission will not be sanctioning the fight. The stills used are from that scene that is to be re-added. The argument seen on the stairs with Adrian is to be extended as well. Also, extra footage and dialogue has been added to the final fight, which according to Stallone makes it more realistic. Personally, I always felt Creed 2 made Rocky IV feel more grounded as finally we see Drago as a hurt man and not the cyborg type he was portrayed as in part 4. Also, losing the boxing gloves exploding at the start wouldn't be missed. I never liked it, not even watching it for the first time in its initial release. I'd love to see Stallone going back to how the first tree started with the Rocky logo scrawling across the screen and Bill Conti's glorious theme. The extra scenes are all available to watch on Stallone's Instagram page which I'll link below. At the moment there is no release date for Rocky IV the director's cut, but I think it's a great idea and I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. And for those who don't like originals being messed with, well, the original version will always be there. I don't mind directors revisiting their work years later and polishing them up. Once the essence of the film is left intact and that the scenes being added, or in this case removed, keeps the original emotionally charged experience and excitement. And of course, let's not forget Ghost Boy. There was a rumour for years, similar to Three Men and a Baby, that the ghost of a little boy was captured on camera. The scene happens during the Burning Heart song as Rocky arrives at the log cabin. There's a man carrying wood up the stairs and we see a boy at the top of them. As the man walks past him, the boy disappears. Of course, he doesn't really. On repeat viewing, you can see the boy turn and walk with the man as he walks past him. But on initial viewing, it does look like he's there for one second and gone the next. Ghosts aside, the Rocky story is about the human spirit. Each film illustrates that the road to victory isn't without cost or sacrifice, but the character always finds the strength to continue. If Mr. Stallone can deliver again with the director's cut, well, I say, go for it, Rock. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, hailing frequencies closed. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell too. Thank you.